All right, guys, we're back. Oh, all right, yeah. Now we're back. Um, board eight. All right, where we left off. Let's go. Thank you, darling. It's interesting how the truth can sometimes seem uh, might malleable, depending upon your point of view. Like how those dime novels make you out to be something you're not. Jack, don't be starting trouble. No, he's right. They do tend to exaggerate. Did they exaggerate your part in taking down the Daltons? Well, I was there in the flesh, boy, so I saw what happened firsthand. Those Daltons were lawmen once, before they all went bad, robbing banks and trains clear across the territory. Until Coffeeville, of course. I was one of the citizens who took up arms that day. Fighting on the side of the right? I did my best, sir. We all did. Alrighty. It's pretty dope music right now. It was early morning. One of my friends was a local gunsmith, and he handed out firearms to anybody who'd take one. You see, the Dalton's got it in their heads to rob two banks at the same time. Two banks on the same damn street. Where, where did my thing go? I just had... I don't want this gun. The story was Bob Dalton's girl was always riding him about how he had no ambition. Oh, you're nobody next to Jesse James, she'd say. Bro, get out of my face. Brothers to Coverville just to shut her up. Right. It's always the woman's fault. You're a gun. Oh, he's already dead. Well, the locals recognized the Daltons right off. Before they could get away, half the town took up arms to defend their property. Their first mistake was pulling a job in their own damn hometown. The boys grew up in Coffeeville, so everybody knew them. The bank teller tricked them, telling them the time lock on the safe wouldn't open till 9.30. Well, that gave the locals enough time to prepare an ambush for those sons of bitches. A nugget is somewhere, but where? Where is the damn nugget? This is what pisses me off when you can't find the stupid nugget thing. It's probably upstairs or something. Brothers paid dearly for their stupidity, but everybody knows they had it coming. There's more to it than that. I read all about that day, so I know for a fact that it went down very differently. You gotta be kidding me, right? First of all, it was high noon. A posse of U.S. Deputy Marshals were on the rooftop across the street. Get ready, boys. They're gonna make a move. The lawmen had been tracking the dolphins for months. Now they finally had them dead to rights. Among them was a bounty hunter feared by many a lawbreaker. This man had no intention of letting the Daltons slip away. The marshals tried to get the Daltons to surrender. They'll give up eventually. We just gotta wait for some of the bitches out. This bounty hunter knew that the brothers were far too proud to ever lay down their guns. 
How do I get down? You ain't stopping me. Ah! Are you kidding me? So there's another way of getting down then. That's that's a damn shame. Those boys had a reputation as stone cold killers. So the marshals took every precaution, knowing they wouldn't go easy. met an adversary that day who had no fear and offered them no quarter. Come on. Right in the booty. You went in there alone to confront those criminals. Oh, yeah, now the ladder appears. Oh, okay. One of the marshals shouted, Where are you going? Are you crazy? Hey, where do you think you're going, dumbass? That rifle's mine. But he paid him no mind. He saw a way to get around to the back of the bank. Okay. Then he figured out how to hit the Daltons from a direction they weren't expecting. Guess not through the door. Would seem to From be. Above. Fortunately, a water tower was right there. Of course, of course, a water tower was right there. A moment later, he was climbing up a steep ladder, laughing at danger as he did. This is so confusing. It was brave men like him who risked their lives to tame this wild country. <laughs> Heroic men like him, who did what other men couldn't or wouldn't to make this country free. If I pick up the saw off. Jim Bowie, David like Crockett, who died defending the Alamo. I did not want this sawed off. Is that Silas Green? Son of a bitch! Please give me whatever weapon you have. I hate these guns. Give me what what the have like a, a better pistol than this, any of you? What a nugget is someone else. Oh. Over there. Still kill them. Oh, what is this that I read? Yeah. That's what I like to see. Huh? That Silas Greaves. What the hell? Blank, blank. He came away victorious, taking down those thieving dogs. Huh? His name was Silas Greaves, and when the dust finally settled, he was the last man standing. Damn. Sorry, kid, but that just wasn't the way it happened. <laughs> of course it wasn't. Oh. It was early evening, not high noon. Right out. The Daltons blew up a safe, and were all set to hightail it out of there. Those pathetic deputies surrounding the bank were dropping like flies. Leader of the love of the loser. I had been tracking those jokers for months, waiting for them to do something reckless. Finally, they did. Those stupid bastards decided to rob Ugh. two banks 
at the same time in the same town where everybody knew him. But they still had friends in coffee. Man. Where am I going? It's this way. Oh, it's most definitely this way. Those friends came after me like a pack of wild dogs. Tooth and nail. They were coming at me from all directions. I caught sight of the Daltons running with the money and didn't want to lose them. The problem was, they knew the town better than I did. And to top it off, I found myself in the middle of another shootout in Tyre. Did the Daltons pull up in somebody's house? No, it was the uh, Smiths, I believe. They were cousins of the Daltons. And they were shooting at the Browns, who were shooting at the Dolphins. Which wasn't any surprise, because those two families have been feuding forever. Jeez. And since the Joneses are related to the Browns, they shot at the Smiths. Pissing off the Heimhoffers, whose daughter recently married a Smith. Well, bullets were flying every which way as all the old feuds in Kansas caught fire all at once. There was a hell of a lot of pissed off people in Coffeeville that day. But that's just the way life is sometimes. Shit happens. <laughs> the Dalton boys knew I would never give up. Those Daltons weren't the sharpest knives in the drawer, but they always stood together. They set a trap to slow me down and allow at least two of them to escape. The third brother stayed behind to plant me, just in case that trap of theirs didn't work. There's the other one right? Oh. It was him, the youngest, and he decided to stand his ground and face me down. I ain't afraid of you, Silas Reeves. This is where it is for you. He was determined to protect his brothers. I understood how he felt. Taking me on all by his lonesome wasn't exactly oh, the oh my. for a long life. Oh, I see him, I see him. Gonna beat you like a red-headed stepson. Like a red-headed stepson. How? You just ate a stick of dynamite, jeez. No faster. You are dead, law dog. One down. But Emmett Dalton survived the robbery in Coffeeville. He's the only Dalton who did. They say he was shot 23 times. All right, well, Dwight, right. who do you think put all those damn holes in him? Jeez. But I have to admit, that boy had grit. Alright guys, that was part eight. Yeah, big up two two seven out. See you in the next one. Peace.